in Him. In Him, we live and move and have our being. And the reason that you exist, the reason you breathe right now, the reason you were created was for relationship with a holy God. A relationship of love, of stewardship, of blessing, of, of passionate intimacy and relationship, of being able to know and be known. And we're free to live for him. That's why we exist. The minute that we take our focus off of living for him, we, we be immediately become self-focused. Immediately. The flesh cries out too loud to be fed. And so tonight, God, we just want to give an offering and declare that it's for you that we live. We give everything for you. We give everything for you. And we start with us because as we give, as we surrender, we then allow love to come in. We allow forgiveness to come in. We allow restoration and healing to come in. And then we become givers of the very thing that God gave us. You cannot give someone else something you don't have. Amen. You can't. You can't give them the love of God unless you have the love of God. You can't give them forgiveness unless you're walking out forgiveness. You can't have uh, compassion unless you're allowing the Lord's compassion to be on you and grace. So we allow you, Holy Spirit, to minister to us in that way as we surrender so that we can give, so that we can be agents of change, agents of love, agents of peace, that everywhere we go and everything we do, God, it's for you. And it's not out of selfish ambition. It's not out of selfish deed. It's not out of, out of greed. But just because we have experienced your love and your faithfulness and your fullness. We thank you, Lord, for tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to read tonight from Psalm 46, and then we're actually going to sing Psalm 46. David experienced God in this way and was able to love. He experienced God this way and he was able to love the way um, that God designed him to love. And said, God said, this is a man after my own heart because of the way David knew how to love and, and David's courage and David's boldness to go about doing all that God strengthened him to do. So here's David's psalm about that, his experiences with God. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear earthquakes that come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam, let the mountains tremble at the water's surge. A river brings joy to the city of our God, the sacred home of the Most High. God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. From the very break of day, God will protect it. Other nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Come see the glorious works of the Lord. See how he brings destruction upon the world. He causes wars to end throughout the earth. He breaks the bow and snaps the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. Now, all that's going on right there in that scripture doesn't really, you know, create this peaceful atmosphere. <laughs> there's war and there's destruction and things going on, but... What God is saying is in the midst of the earthquake, in the midst of everything trembling around you, the entire earth coming out from underneath your feet, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. Now, that's hard to do. <laughs> I know. That's hard to do. But when we begin to exercise our obedience in that, and our, we're not doing this because, hey, so I, I mustered up my own strength, and I figured out how to 
how to white knuckle myself through it. That's not what David says here. No. David puts all of his, all of his energy and thought process into declaring God is my refuge and strength. The Lord of Heaven's armies is here among us. He is our fortress. Come see the glorious works of the Lord. Now, when you look at that, then we can be still and know that He is God. He goes on to say, I will be honored by every nation. I will be honored throughout the world. The Lord of Heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. So I know that, that we are always in constant times, constant places of shaking and trembling, of stuff shaking and trembling around us. And I felt, um, I felt tonight that anyone who, who is having that happening in their life right now, if things are trembling around you, if it feels like the earth is coming out from underneath your feet, that I would just encourage you to come up through this next song and to just tell yourself but come to the altar. Be prayed over. We'll have people come and pray over you. Come to the altar and remind yourself, God is my refuge and strength. Amen. The Lord of heaven's armies is among us. He is our fortress. He is our refuge. He is our strong and mighty tower. And so as we sing this song, I really encourage you. If things are shaking around you, if things are fearful and if you're feeling afraid because of what's going on around you in your life, in circumstances, in relationship, I just encourage you to come to the altar and just let the Lord minister to you through this next song and as we pray over each other. Oh 
pray, but it's okay to turn us to confess our fears to God. It's okay to confess to Him, God, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't know if, if you can be enough for me. I don't know. I haven't experienced you that way yet. I don't know if you can fix this. I don't know if you can take this away. I don't know. I don't know if you're that big. But this is what we sing to ourselves. We sing to our spirit and we say, okay, even though we don't know these things about God, we do know some things about God, otherwise you wouldn't even be here right now. So we tell ourselves, I will not be afraid and I will not fear for my God is near. So that's a promise that he will never leave you or ever forsake you. So if you want to know one thing about God, he's near. If you don't know anything else, know that he's near. Know that he never leaves you. Know that he's right here with you all the time. And so God, we confess our fears that we don't know how this is going to play out. And we don't, we don't know if we're strong enough. We don't feel strong enough. We don't know. We don't know if you can really make the pain go away. We don't know if you really can be enough, but we're, we're surrendering ourselves because we can't fix it on our own. We can't handle it on our own. And we can't do it on our own. And we can't make the right choices all the time. And we can't help people all the time that we want to help so desperately, Lord. And so we just surrender those things. We just surrender those things, sing this. I will not be afraid.
fall into your arms. Yes, you are here. Yes, you are here. No, I can fall into your arms. You are here.
because you trust me. God, help us trust you more. our eyes on him when we tune our ears when we shut the world out when, we, when, we're, when we're still and knowing that he is God be still and know that I am God it's not just a, a good idea this is a commandment man. because he knows what you need be still and know that I am God know that I am God yes it means you got to quiet out all the other noise yeah you got to remove the hindrances. you got to remove the things that are in the way. you got to stop looking at that one thing that's, that's broken. you got to stop looking at those five things that are broken, or ten, or twenty, whatever it is. Put your eyes on Jesus. Put your eyes on me. God, I trust you. I don't have to fix this right now. I just got to trust you. I trust you. I don't have to have an answer right now. I just got to trust you. I just got to trust you. will take me through the rest of tonight. I got to trust you. Then when I get up in the morning, you're going to be right there with me to help me through. I got to trust you through the night that you're going to minister to me through my dreams. I got to trust you and believe your promises and say that, that you're, you send your angels to come and protect me. And to minister to him. So I want to pray for every person that came forward. Some of them are still here. Those that came forward and are already sitting back down. Lord, every situation is different. But it's the same enemy who's bringing the same type of perpetual pain and strife and fear and grief and sorrow and loss and confusion and misunderstanding and all the things that the enemy does to come in. God, you want to turn those things into something beautiful, something that draws us to your heart today. All that Israel had to go through in captivity, Lord, you, you said it's just to draw their heart back to you. To draw their heart back to you. So draw us in. Pull us closer. closer. Take us deeper. I pray that each person, Lord, tonight who receive from your spirit everything that you want to speak to their hearts, to speak into their identity, speak into their situations right now. God who formed the earth, I formed you. I see all. I know all. As you were 
crying out, I can't do this, God. I don't know what to do. I, I'm afraid. I was listening. I was holding you. I had turned my ear and my attention towards you. I was focused on you. I was whispering in your ear. Nothing this earth has ever known. I want to show to you. I want to give you myself. I want to implant in you myself. That's why I give you my spirit. I want you to know me so well that it feels like a part of you. Like it's always been there. Like it's deep and like it's who you are. It's, it's inside of you and it can never be separated. That's, I want you to know me that way.
that's one thing the disciples knew. They knew that when they were afraid or they didn't feel peace, what did they do? Cried out for Jesus. They knew he carried that. He knew it. Yeah. He knew his position. Thank you, Jesus. One of the ways that um, God wants to reveal himself is who he is. Paul says in Galatians and Romans that it's the spirit within us. It's the spirit within us that, that allows us to cry out, Papa, Abba, Father, Papa, Father, Daddy, Father. It's a term of endearment. It's what children call their dads. Abba. So we can cry out at any time, and that's exactly. Did you know that's the term that Jesus used the most for his father? That's the term Jesus cried out to God for. Abba, Daddy, Papa. Because he knew. He knew his dad. He knew his dad had it. Had it for him. So today we cry out. Cry out to Abba Father, Papa Father. We cry out to you. You've got this. Thank you, Lord. We want to know as much as Jesus knew. And he wants to reveal it. So Holy Spirit, would you reveal him to us that way today? Tonight, Lord. Reveal. Reveal. You are a, a revealer. You bring revelation into our lives. Open our eyes and our ears to see and understand. Papa, love. Father, love. Papa, Father. Thank you, God, for being our Papa. Thank you, God, for being our Papa, Papa, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I woke up to this scripture this morning. First thing I looked at was Psalm 149. And I, uh, it was just so precious. It says, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing praise to him in the community of his faithful ones. That would be, that'd be us. <laughs> that'd be us. In the community of his faithful ones. Let us be filled with joy because God is our maker. Let us be glad because he is our king. And then I, I had to put it in, I actually posted this, but I wanted to put it in a different translation because I love this. So it's really small. So Lord, I need, Papa, I need your help. I need to, to have your eyes right now. Look at that. I can see it. <laughs> Let them praise his name. This is the very next verse. Let them praise his name with dancing, right? Amen. Let them praise his name with dancing. Let them make music to him with tambourines and lyres. Remember we found out a lyre was a ten-string instrument kind of halfway between a guitar and a, and a harp. <laughs> Let them make music to him with our tambourines and lyres. Now this is the part that I love. I love this. Because the Lord takes pleasure in his people. The Lord, we were talking about that a couple days ago. What does, how does God want to reveal to us when he takes pleasure in He takes pleasure in his, in his people just like, okay, a lot of your parents out there. Do you remember the first time that baby said, Yeah. You're going, why did she say that? Can you imagine what Papa is doing to his angels? Look, oh, they're crying out. They're crying to my name out, Papa, Abba, Father. They're saying it. Look, listen. They're crying it out. Yeah. Can you imagine? Listen to this. This is powerful. He crowns those 
who are oppressed with victory. Hallelujah. He crowns those who, that's the very next line. He crowns those who are oppressed with victory. How many want a victory crown? Yeah. Hey, we're all oppressed, but some of us know it even more than others. Yep. Right? Yeah. We're all oppressed. But some of you know I, I've been oppressed. And I might be being oppressed right now. And so he crowns those. He he takes great pleasure takes great delight in his people and he crowns those who are oppressed with victory. Oh, that's our Papa Father. That's our Papa Father. That, that's who loves us. That's who goes before us. That's who's got, got this. He's got this for you. Whatever it is. Right? Whatever it is. He's got this. Everybody say, he's got this. He's got, he's got this. this. Amen. Amen. He's got this. You got a song? Or you got something to share? Huh? Six of them? Oh, right behind you. Come on. chips and all of a sudden they become the one holding this eight week old baby bunny with a ribbon around its neck and she hands it to me and says this is a gift from God wow. and I'm just like what type of gift are you to me and she's like this is your bunny now and so now I have a eight weeks old baby bunny and his name is Rocky, it's short for rock star. I get to take him home tomorrow. The reason this is so precious for Caitlin is that her body died a couple weeks ago unexpectedly. And she started asking the Lord for a new bunny. So the Lord knows the desires of our hearts, and he loves to pour that out. So I want to say something real quick. Um, so as some of you know, like Nana and Papa, I don't know if a lot of you know, but today is my dad's birthday. Oh, it is. Yeah. And so I just want to share my appreciation to my dad. Aww.
Okay, so uh, whether you all know it or not, I am up at the homeless shelter. I went to Triumph over trauma. My loud mouth really doesn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to be a little louder than this girl. And so um, I started working with Christy one on one, and I got my first message was stop thinking. Okay? I'm a really logical person, so I like to think detrimentally until it falls apart. And I think oh. it's my head against all these walls. So Christy and I were doing the spirit walk, and I got around the back part, and when I went to turn around to go back the other part, a couple days later, I didn't actually get to finish the positive side, I heard this voice tell me, get out the way! Oh. Tell okay. us why you couldn't go back. What was there? I had all these walls of forgiveness and me forgiving other people, other people forgiving me, yada, yada, yada. She says, picture the wall, and I'm like, oh my lord. It goes, it goes as far as I can see to every direction. And it just, like, crippled me. And, and Christy noticed, I was like, like this, my eyes are like this big, and I'm going, well, what am I going to do with all of this? Well, guess what? Tonight... There is no wall. Alright? Jesus says, get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. Okay, so y'all got some walls built up. Guess what? They're not really there. They're not. Picture Jesus, your walls fall away. Finally, 21? Uh, yeah. It says it, it, it's your birthday. Open. Sorry, Chris. Uh, 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 it says open again. And then it says lift. <laughs> and it says, thought you could use a little exercise to keep you in shape. It's important at your age, you know. <laughs> it is important. Happy birthday.
Lord Jesus, I thank you for Scott. I thank you for all that you have walked out with him. And I thank you for what you revealed of yourself to him. And I'm thankful, Lord, for his sobriety and for yes. all the open doors yes. that you've given him. And I thank yes. you for the job that and Lord, we've been crying out for Angela and we've been crying out for the boys. And we're just asking God, your promise says that you'll finish you're faithful to finish what you started. You will yes, bring it to completion. And I pray right now that you would give, yeah, you would armor up Scott and you would give him supernatural strength to plow through generational bondage, to plow through and declare the truth of who they are in Jesus Christ, who his family is in Jesus Christ. And, and Lord, you take our messes and turn them into magnificent messages. And you turn those things, our failures, you turn into fantastic movements uh, in the spirit. And I just declare right now um, the healing over Angela's body. And that you would bring her into clean and sober environments. And that you would reach into her heart the way you reached into Scott's heart. And I pray, Lord, that as he walks out with the children, both the older boys and with the little ones, Lord, that his trust in you would not waver and that he would not be afraid and that he would stand in confidence and knowing that his obedience is going to reach out and, and get his kids. That his obedience is going to reach out and get his wife. His obedience is going to reach out and you're going to set him his feet on solid ground. And you're going to hold him up with your righteous right arm and take him through. And they're going to, you're going to storm through the dark valleys. You're going to burst through the, the deep waters, Lord, and take Scott deeper into you. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for revealing. Do more, Lord. More, Lord. Reveal yourself more. You're so great. Take Scott to the next level in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus, thank you. Amen. God bless you all.
for us, for all that you want to accomplish in this state, in this nation. Lord, I pray for this nation. I pray for the decisions that are being made. I pray for the candidates that are beginning to run for election for the next voting year, next year. I just pray, God, that you would be positioning our country, positioning our country through leadership and through movement in your bride, in your church, Lord, to position our country back underneath you. We have stepped out from underneath your covering. We stepped out from underneath. And I pray, Lord, you draw us back under. You draw us back in. That you'll bring us back to your side. And Lord, we, we will do our part by chasing after you. With everything in us. We will chase after you. We thank you for your presence. We celebrate your life, Jesus. We celebrate the life that we have. And we look forward to the week ahead of us, Lord. As you take us deeper still. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's celebrate together. Yeah. We're going to celebrate Jeremy. So my brother Adam, he's got some speak life for us. God's blessing is poured out on me. God's blessing is poured out on me. Instead of poverty. Instead of poverty. He has given me the kingdom of God. He has given me the kingdom of God. My hunger is fully satisfied. My hunger is fully satisfied. And my tears become laughter. And my, and my tears, tears become laughter. laughter. A great blessing is waiting for me. A great, great blessing, blessing is waiting for me. If people hate me, if people, people hate me, exclude me, exclude me, mock me, mock me, me, and curse me for my passionate commitment, and, and curse me for my passionate, passionate commitment to Christ. To, to Christ. Christ. I jump for joy. I, I jump, jump for joy because people discuss. Oh wait, sorry, sorry. Because they're discussed. Because there's a increases my reward. Increases, increases my, my reward. reward. Amen. 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 All for the kingdom. All right, let's get some root beer floats. I'm going to head out and meet you, Fred, but happy birthday. Perfect. Lord knew you get to hand it to yourself. <laughs> 